Caleb, we've been talking about chemical changes a lot in class, and we're going to look at a chemical change today that involves growing crystals. Now, have you done anything with crystals in the past? Not really. Okay. Well, I know we talked about them a little bit last year when we were talking about rocks and minerals and looked at some things like quartz crystals and other, other types of mineral crystals. Mm -hmm. And this time we're actually going to grow a crystal using a metal, and that metal that we're going to use is silver. So we're going to use a chemical here called silver nitrate. And what we want to do, we're going to put some in our graduated cylinder here. And in our graduated cylinder, you see I've got a stopper here that's got a coil of copper wire. And the copper, when we put it in with the silver nitrate, it's going to react and it's actually going to get the metallic silver from the silver nitrate to crystallize on the copper wire. So I'm going to pour some silver nitrate for you. And I will just let you add that to our graduated cylinder there. Just pour that in very carefully. Try not to spill any of it. As soon as it goes in, that metallic silver is starting to form along the copper wire. And the longer it sits, it's going to get kind of a fuzzy look to it. And you can see it's actually starting to get a little, yeah, a little bit darker and a little more silver accumulating on it. And after a few minutes, you're actually going to be able to see some very distinct silver crystals that form on it. All right, well now it's been sitting all oh, two or three minutes. And what do you, what do you notice about it now, Caleb? It, it was like a grayish color, but now it's turned white. Okay, it's almost turned, yeah, that metallic, silvery white look. And you can sort of see if you pick it up and, you know, look at it closer, it's almost got kind of a fuzzy look to it. It uh, looks kind of like you ever use those pipe cleaners in art class to make anything out of. Those kind of yeah. little fuzzy wire stick pipe things that we use. Pipe cleaners. Yeah, and... Um, it kind of looks to me at least like one of those, but it's actually, it's like a, almost fuzzy, but in reality it's just crystals of metallic silver. And those are actually going to continue to grow for a while. And after usually about 30 minutes, it'll be finished reacting with silver nitrate. You'll have some good sized silver crystals on there. So we'll check back in a little bit and see how that's doing. All right, well, we've let this sit for about 45 minutes now. And what you see, you see a lot of nice, fine silver crystals that have formed on our copper wire. We talked about how it was fuzzy looking before. It's really fuzzy looking now. And even at the bottom, you see some kind of sharp, pointy crystals that are sticking off there at the bottom as well. So what we have here, this is, again, it's our example of a chemical change, that reaction between the silver nitrate and the copper wire, making these crystals of silver. So, Caleb, next time somebody asks you what you know about making crystals, tell them you know how to make silver from copper. <laughs> <laughs>